Everybody can relax. I found the car. Well, here we are. It's been a long morning already. Started work at 6.20 a.m., left the office about 8, and I've made my way to London, to London Comic Con. Train journey here was pretty horrific. Forgot how much I disliked other people. That being said, always a highlight coming to a Comic Con, just as you get nearer the venue, starting to see all the cosplayers and all the fellow geeks all turn up. There was this one child that came up to me on the escalator and pointed at me and said, Marshmallow Man. The sad thing was I wasn't even wearing that shirt at the time. But anyway, I'm here for one reason only today. That reason is the HasLab Ecto-1. Heard rumours that it's going to be here today. So, I'm not going to waste any more time with this intro. I'm going to make my way in. See you on the other side. And I've just seen from a distance, I've seen the Ecto. Let's go. I can't wait to get a look at this thing. My God, look at those. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just the lights, everything fantastic. How's that for the lighting? Look at that. Oh, I need this in my life right now. And we've got these guys on the left. He's a beautiful little spud, isn't he? And then Eleanor Twitty. The books, Tobin Spirit Guide. Let's take a closer look. Just so awesome, that translucent look. It's fantastic. Let's get that overhead shot, that light display. From what we've seen on other videos, they actually studied the film itself and have got the sirens synced up absolutely correctly to what it was in the film. And here's the roof rack for the deluxe version for the xo one a It's a beast. Let's go around the other side. There we go, that's what I want to see. Apart from it being lit up. Boo-hoo. Fantastic. Look at the detail. We've got the inside of the car. Dashboard lights up, look at that. Radio lit up. And the back section there. And then we have the deluxe Ghostbusters 2 crew, all new moulds, absolutely perfect. They've got their slime blowers, got their toaster full of slime, hot beverage thermal mugs and free balloons for the kids. I need to have all of this right now, going to have to wait a year unfortunately. How is that for a hero shot? Let's get a good look at Winston as well. And then of course, here we go, Mr. Two Week Tully, one week left, seven days left to get to the 12,000 backers. And then we get this guy. Gonna make sure I get some good footage of him, just in case I never get to see him again. Here's the gurney with the four proton packs on the back. Haven't seen anything like this before.
by me. Just got given a HasLab patch as well. Gratefully received. Look at that, love that. So, just been lucky enough to meet the living legend that is Emily from Hasbro. Just got off the plane. They've literally just shipped this Ecto in this morning, unpacked it and got it for display first thing this morning. So I feel really blessed to have been able to see it so early. Before I go and give you the conclusion about what I think of this Ecto-1, this HasLab project, I think you can guess what I'm probably going to say about this Ecto-1. Just time for one more montage. Let's do that. So what have we learned today? Well, I learned about something called urinary splashback when you wear Ghostbusters khaki trousers. How do you Ghostbusters cosplayers deal with that on a daily basis? So yeah, urinary splashback. No one told me about the danger of urinary splashback and the whole possibility that you need to spend maybe five minutes after every visit to the toilets pointing your junk towards the hand dryer just to make sure no one else knows what's happened but let's go back to what we're actually here to talk about anyway that car is a thing of beauty it is the equivalent the Ghostbusters equivalent of the legacy Millennium Falcon speaking to Emily from Hasbro we both decided the word was majestic majestic was the word that we should be describing this car we're about a week into the campaign one week left to hit the 12,000 mark and get that Lewis Tully figure we need to get that Lewis Tully figure. All those people out there that are umming and ahhing about whether to get this thing, that normally wait until the last day before they go, I'm going to miss out, I'm going to miss out, I'm going to buy it. Do that now. Do that now. Buy it now. That huge upsurge that we get on the final day, we need that in the next week so we can secure Lewis Tully. Like I said, the car is a thing of beauty. The only qualm I've got now is whether I do buy two. It's that good, it's that good. Seeing it in the flesh, it's one thing seeing photographs of it and seeing videos of it, but to actually see it virtually in hand, it's something else. It's an investment, obviously. It is a lot of money, you can't take that away from it. I have no idea to be so much, I won't pay it. And there is that thing, the thing, my argument that I'm having to myself at the moment about getting the two, is to get the second one, get another deluxe set, and getting that set of figures, getting that set of four figures, getting an extra Slimer, getting an extra Library Ghost, and all the props that go with it. And chances are, you're gonna be able to sell those separately on eBay, and probably get two or 300 quid back just for those figures, because there's no other way of getting them. So whatever money we're actually thinking that we're spending, 
chances are you're likely to get 25% of that back if you're clever. Perhaps even the not so clever might be able to do such a thing as well. But like I said, I'm so pleased I got to see this in person at such an early stage. It's only got me more excited about it. If you're a Ghostbusters fan, you need to have this in your life. There's no two ways about it. FOMO, fear of missing out. Sell some of your old toy collection that are just sitting on the shelf or in storage. Did that recently, worked out well. Sell a kidney. Do whatever it takes to get this Ecto-1 or Ecto-1A in your life. Well, that's me done for now. I'm completely and utterly exhausted, completely and utterly happy uh, with today's events. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, tap subscribe, all that stuff. Until next time, take care, be good, bye-bye.